From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Andrew Adams. Here it comes. Our next storm system is skirting down the California coast right now. Eventually, it will get a eastward kick and head our way. Today, just some clouds moving in from the Texas panhandles and uh, portions of northwest Texas. And that's really all we get to talk about today. It's going to be a pretty nice day. A little bit cloudy than yesterday, yeah, but also warmer and a little bit windier, but I'm not going to complain at all about what we have on tap for our Sunday. We're quiet all the way through tomorrow morning, even tomorrow afternoon. Things are quiet. It's tomorrow evening ahead of the main wave, which you see here by seven o'clock tomorrow. The main wave still in eastern New Mexico ahead of it. We could get a few showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two to develop in western Oklahoma, potentially as far east as the metro. But our 100% chance for rain arrives overnight tomorrow into our Tuesday morning. Here's 2 a.m. Tuesday, broad area of shower and a few thunderstorms rolling through the state by 7 o'clock. The back edge of this is approaching the I-35 corridor, which is nice. That means a pretty early exit by late morning, lunchtime. I would definitely say rain is done here across the metro, and it could by this point, if it is moving fast enough, be completely out of the state, or at least in the far eastern Oklahoma. So that pans out pretty well for Valentine's Day. We get the morning rain, it leaves, and then we warm up quite a bit as well because we hold on to that southwest wind for a while. 68 by 4 o'clock on Valentine's Day, 8 o'clock temperature. As we stay on the clear side, we fall back into the 50s. We've also got a north breeze that will kick in after that system does pass. And then we've got our next system, Wednesday into Thursday. And this is going to be a little bit of both. We get a little bit of spring. We get a little bit of winter potentially from this, mainly in the eastern half of the state. We could see some showers and thunderstorms here across central Oklahoma. Looks much drier to the southwest at this point. And the best chance for some thunderstorms could be strong to maybe even severe is going to be well to the southeast. That'll be something to watch down there. And then as it exits, we're going to get that very cold kind of Arctic air pulling down the plains and could mix in a little bit of snow up to the north. Doesn't look like it will crack all the way into the metro. There's a low chance that it could, but mainly across the north. Some of that wintry precip back on the table. Guthrie Cam looking nice this morning on our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network. It's 28 degrees right now out at Will Rogers, so a little chilly, but not too cold. Our average low this time of year is 30, which it is in Kingfisher right now, but some of us are even warmer. It's 35 in Guthrie, 33 uh, in Norman. You saw that a pink line just expand a little bit so we're starting to warm 30s and 20s right now wind chills mainly in the lower 20s so a little bit chilly but that same wind that's making us chilly right now is going to make us much warmer this afternoon 64 oklahoma city in stillwater pushing 70 from woodward to alva very warm and we could be cracking into the low 70s in southwestern oklahoma as well so a great afternoon ahead overnight temperatures fall into the 30s and 20s pretty typical for a February morning before we return to the 60s and upper 50s. Once again, tomorrow a little bit cooler than today, but still plenty nice with that south wind hanging around. Uh, by tomorrow evening, this is late in the evening, a chance at a few of these leading edge showers could crack into the metro, but the better chance will be in western and southwestern in northwestern Oklahoma for some of that leading edge rain and thunder. It's really the overnight period that we will get that 100% chance of rain from western Oklahoma marching all the way to the east, especially by the morning, mainly in eastern Oklahoma. It will be exiting uh, the I-35 corridor during the morning hours on our Tuesday. We dry out by the evening, and in fact, the afternoon does look rather nice half inch rain expected across central Oklahoma so not a lot from this maybe a quarter inch out west and an inch to the east as this is a quick one hitter and done 68 Tuesday afternoon Valentine's Day looking nice more 70s to the southwest mid and upper 60s all across the north so rather pleasant until we get to Thursday afternoon I mentioned that Arctic air highs back in the 30s by that point until we get the roller coaster ride to bring us back in the 60s by the end of the coming weekend that's all we got for now. News 9 is going to be right back in just a second.